Hey, hey, howdy, how are you doing? James Adams here. And man, this morning I've got a dynamic, enthralling electrical video for you. That's right, your dreams have come true, your prayers have been answered. You're looking at this. What is this? It's a half hot or a switched outlet. I know, you're like, finally, I have purpose in my life. Stay with me. So we've gotten on our YouTube channel a couple of questions about half hots or a switched receptacle. And all I did is sort of uh, reduced it down to its bare bones so we can just see the path of the electrical, the hots, really. So there's no grounds, no neutrals. And so in older homes, mostly, you would have a switch that would control, in this case, the top half of the plug for a lamp. It tells you how old we're talking. And the bottom would stay constant hot so you could plug in an alarm clock or something else. And so this was really common, especially in bedrooms, where a nightstand would be. Now, just in case you're wondering, if you're in an older home and you've got a plug that's dead, if you look for a plug and it's upside down, that usually means it's controlled by a switch, okay? That's not a code requirement, but it was a common practice that if you had a plug that was controlled by a wall switch, oops, let's turn this right side up, that would let you know. So what happens is over the years, especially in an older home, the plugs get changed out. The people who do it don't understand that it's a half hot or a, a switch plug, and this plug ends up being on all the time, and then you have a wall switch in the bedroom that doesn't do anything. So the secret here to this, this whole half hot or switch plug is the tab. So let me show you here. If you can see real close, there's this brass sort of trapezoid shaped tab right there and it separates or connects these two terminals. So these are connected, these two screws, if you have a wire coming in here and then here, they're connected by this little teeny tab. It is minuscule. So if you look at the other side, that tab has been removed, and that's so the top and the bottom can work separately. So if this plug was replaced and the, other, and the next person didn't know what they were doing, they would leave this tab on. And so what that means is this plug would be on all the time and you would never be able to control it. And you'd again have a switch that didn't do anything. So there's the mystery. Um, the other part of this, if you look at this tab, whether it's this side, which is the hot side, brass screws, or the neutral side, light colored silver screws, in a regular plug that's not switched, if you pull out one of these tabs, Everything that's downstream and fed out of this plug will be dead. Interesting thing. So sometimes, again, these are mass produced. If these little tabs have a minuscule crack right there in that bend, it's next to nothing. And I'm only saying this because I've had a troubleshoot or two where I was pulling my hair out. I looked closer and noticed that there was a crack. So what would happen is the plug would be dead sometimes. And if you pushed on it, that little fissure there would close and you'd have power. So super frustrating, made a memory, now I'm sharing with you, you're welcome. So that's what I got today, um, half hot. If you've got questions or comments, or if you live in a home uh, that has some switched wall outlets, lamps are making a comeback. Believe it or not, it's been 50 years, but here they come. Um, I'm seeing on a lot of uh, design and architecture channels uh, we've got the oranges and fluorescent greens coming back. We've got overstepped headboards. We've got brass fixtures. It's, it's coming back. It's like a blast from my childhood. Um, leave some comments. Click like. But I really want to see your comments. Um, some of you may have some mystery plugs or switches, and this may solve your problem. You all have a great day. Thank you much. Bye.